Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Young Wilder Free and today I'm back with another little speed build and again I'm trying it with a little voice over. Now after the last video that I posted I did end up having a little break. This wasn't really planned but I did end up rearranging some summer plans which kept me busy for the last week. And I had, of course, not pre-recorded anything because it was unplanned. <laughs> so to get back into baking speed builds, I decided to start again with something small in Sulani. If I am pronouncing that correct, I don't know. <laughs> I've made quite some starter homes at least lately. Um, both for single sims and couples that want to start a family. And since I already had made my Moana starter home for a single sim in Sulani, I thought let's also make one for a couple that are ready to start their own family here. So just as I did in my other star starter family homes, I only made one bedroom for the parents and one shared kids room which I made into a nursery slash toddler room. So it has a bassinet and a toddler bed of course. So you can be ready for one to two kids or one toddler and a baby. Now since I do like my house's cozy and cluttered, this did end up quite small. So the kids room might need a little renovation or refurnishing when your sims babies start to grow. The toddler bed can easily be replaced with a normal bed. You have just to remove the potty that's behind it or at the foot end. So yeah, and then you're good to go with the kids bed. Now if you end up having two kids, that's kind of the maximum I think. You are going to need to replace the wardrobe with maybe a nightstand and probably remove the big bear as well with the bassinet of course because you won't really have enough room left I think. I personally would not uh, or do not use uh, wardrobes or nightstands stands, night stands too much in gameplay so personally I would just drop those ones and place the bear in between two beds instead so you have the I don't know what the bear is called in game, but <laughs> so you have the bear to play with at least. Uh, that seems more useful at least. There are some more toys of course outside as well since I couldn't really fit any of them in the little kids room. So yeah, your sims kids still should have something to play with anyway. As for the parents bedroom, I did of course not have enough room for any type of drawers or wardrobe or anything. So I only used decorative clothes on the walls to look like they have had at least something. But that is unfortunately not functional as a wardrobe. It would have been fun if it was though. They do have a mirror so they could just change by clicking on the mirror, I don't know. As for the other areas, it was all very small and cramped together and I didn't really place any electronics like laptops or TVs I didn't really think about those uh, doesn't really fit, fit the team in my opinion but yeah uh, so if you want to have a TV or a PC or anything you might need to save up for it later or sell a couple of items at least the pictures do quickly cost a bit that I have the debug pictures from Sulani or Island Living. Then again, if you do start out with two sims and a toddler, your starter price should be high enough to be able to afford a laptop or a TV, I think. I did keep this build under 22,000 simoleons because I'm pretty sure that's what you get for two sims. But if you do also add a toddler, then you have 24,000, so then you should technically have more than enough to avoid it. As for the kitchen, I didn't have room for any sink, so I placed one in the bathroom instead. <laughs> you will notice that in the screenshot that it looks a bit different, because I had to test the bathroom and of course it didn't work immediately, but I did shovel it around a bit and it should all function right now. Only downside is that you definitely need to move objects to cheat on uh, to be able to place this house now. Anyway, I think you're gonna need to cheat anyway, even if the bathroom was just normal, but yeah. If this bugs you or you find it too small, the bathroom, you could always make a little outside toilet or an outside shower to save some room inside. I just wanted to save the money because walls cost a lot and I really wanted to decorate other places instead. But it is an option. Um, 
you could maybe also I was kind of thinking of placing the sink outside just right around the corner but I didn't really like that idea as well but you could place the shower outside just I'm not sure how shy your sims will be I did just remember that I did not place a tub so there's no way you can bathe your toddlers yeah missed out on that one so maybe you're gonna need to be building a little outside shed with well you could just place uh, either a bathtub there or i don't know place a toilet and a sink in that one but then there's still no sink in the house because then the bathroom would fill up an entire bathtub with the entire bathroom so yeah <laughs> kind of missed out on that little portion sorry for that but I'm sure you can find a solution for it in any type of way <laughs> I do think that's all I have to say for now so I do of course hope you like this video and if you want to download any of my builds you can find them under my username young one and free on the gallery and always remember to have moved objects on before placing any of my builds just to be sure nothing gets removed if you would like to see more of my creations, you can always like this video and subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter or Instagram. For now, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye bye!